one thing I stopped doing in my house years ago was going upstairs to my kids' bedrooms. Every single night. Yeah, I, I never go up there. <laughs> Amelia says every single night. She's right. I never go up there. It's 99 times out of 100, it's a disaster. <laughs> and I can't handle that. It's just something I know about myself. And so that I would stop getting mad and yelling at my kids all the time, I just stopped going upstairs. Well, Charlie had them clean their rooms today because... We're getting our ductwork cleaned on Monday, and Saturday's always a good day to get your rooms cleaned. So I'm actually going to show you what the rooms look like Mom, Jimmy, clean. Can get his cup? They are what? supposedly clean. Um, Where is it? My kids are not known for cleaning their rooms at all. It's never been something that we've enforced very well, and it's also not easy when you have six boys in one room and four girls in another. So, anyway, I'm going to let you see what their rooms look like, especially because some people might be wondering, you know, how do you fit 10 kids into a three-bedroom house? And even though Ryan no longer lives here, he certainly did live here when we had six boys in that bedroom, and his bed, uh, bed space, at least, is still there. I wish I could have shown you what their rooms looked like beforehand, but I don't think I could have handled looking at it. So, let's go upstairs. All right, so full disclosure, this is what the stairway looks like. Trash, socks, highlighter. Look! Still has a lot of cleaning to happen. Not right in 99 rooms. Look at the laundry. Mom. No, they get to see it all. Okay, here's the girls' room. Very pretty. Oh, well, I can walk on the floor. That's good. Oh, and Mom, look over there. We sort, okay. me and Amelia sorted our thing. You sorted the stuff on your dresser? Yep. And look okay. There. Putting look. creams in here. A little bit of eyeshadow. My, my lip. Um, my, my Your lip gloss, lip that, you gloss got for that I got for Christmas and my face cream that I also got for Christmas. No, okay, so great. You room. sorted. Okay. The dresser looks nice. Okay, Mom. This dresser looks pretty good, too. Mom. Still wait, got Mom. a doll. Wait, let me. I'm, I need to show you. <laughs> and then all this stuff is in here for okay. me. Okay. Well, that's a good place for it. These are my poppets. Mm-hmm. Oh, and yeah, this is your snake thing. My snake deal. Okay, you can see the mirror over there on their wall. Ooh. I mean, on their door. Wait. Over here we have a doll cradle, which is not cleaned out. I, I don't do anything <laughs> over there. And shoes. On Church the shoes. And more shoes on the door. Okay, messy, messy, messy. And yeah, messy. with four girls in a room, I probably need to get another one of those. At least one more. For the boys. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Let's just give everybody an overview of your room. So they have two dressers. The boys do. Okay, two and mirrors. then they. There's not a whole lot of room in here to walk around. They each have a set, or not? There's two sets of bunk beds. Yeah, and so these, I Amelia's, off that. Amelia's got the top up here, and I have the where bottom. she's decorated a lot. She's got her butterfly lights up there, oh, hung no. a horse, Mom, don't, bulletin don't, board. Don't, don't, don't okay. Look at my no, don't look at my <laughs> so my mother made these um, curtains for the girls. So Anna Claire has butterfly curtains. <clears throat> Amelia has. And these Amelia's mama. curtains are not hung up yet. But these. But there. She llama. has. Not yeah. Llama. Desert. Desert llama. Yeah. Curtains. Wait, okay. Don't don't show it inside of it yet. Well, why not? We're yeah. just gonna. I'm going to. I'm she gonna has more than in her share of stuffed animals and pillows. And hey, I like them. Okay. I'll show you okay. So over. this is. Let's come over here to this side of the room. This. Back up. Bunk bed set here is Annette and Alex's. So Annette's curtains are actually hung all the way up, and they actually go all the way up to the ceiling, so they're are very they lengthy. Are rip down? And <laughs> Stop! Alex has her Clemson curtains at the bottom that looks like they're not hung properly. We also have towel racks on the back of their beds, oh, giving them a place to hang their towels. You naughty, naughty girl! And then they each, well not each, there's two closets around um, one small window. Yeah. 
All right, so over here we have more than enough backpacks and <laughs> kavus and all that and doll stuff and art stuff. <clears throat> here. Hair stuff. With nail Nail stuff. stuff. With the makeup. Yep, with the there's a bank. Ones. What in the world is that pink liquid right there? Oh, I think that's slime. That's slime. Oh, it's slime. Mm -hmm. it looks like liquid, homemade but it's really slime. more of a solid. It's homemade slime. Mom, there's a chair. Yeah. But why is this thing so straight? I like to read in it when I do. And it. well, I don't read. More read, storage but I do. in the closet. These closets are deep, so they end up with putting things in the back. I have <laughs> drawers Mom. there. More storage and hanging and. Storage <laughs> and more storage. Yeah. And Amelia is one of the few who has put her name up that we did when we were in the mountains last year. She decorated them like that. Anna Claire, do you have your name up down there? Yes. Mostly. I mean, we don't show it quite yet, okay? Okay. Just a minute, Mom. Does Annette have her name up anywhere? Yes. Oh, yeah. Annette's got her name up there. And she's got a messy bed. Cute hanging things. All right. We don't. No, Mom. Okay, I'll come back to it, okay? Okay. Oh, we also have a trash can. <laughs> yeah. And I see a little bit of stuff that y'all missed under the dresser. Aww. Well, there's, That's where there's, the poison is. There. More full disclosure, we did have a mouse or two running around in here a couple weeks ago. In the boys' room. And I found, I found a mouse earlier cleaning up in my closet. I found a mouse and okay. it was dead on my glasses. Um... Case. So, while many of you might be completely horrified, and it is something that I have a really hard time saying on camera, um, when you live in the middle of a pasture, you're going to get some mice. It is one reason that we have a lot of cats, and they generally keep the mice population down, but a lot of times when the temperature does start getting cold, we do find them coming in a little bit more. So, that definitely just is... That means we need to put something out to trap them or whatever. Them. We usually put out some uh, some poison in the attics. And they have oh. attic oh. access. Each bedroom has an attic access. So Which, no need it to also go makes in. it easier to uh, for mice to get in because of the attics. Okay. Now you want to show your bed? bed. Yeah. It's not that messy. Okay. I can see your, your name hung out up in there. Yeah, oh, the okay, now let the me show you my squishmallow. This is it. He's got a squishmallow. That? Okay. It's What's your name? I always lay on it. Very nice. And there's your, let's see, there's your unicorn that you got for Christmas that you painted. Oh, yeah. And then your name that you painted. Uh huh. Amelia painted the horse, Tony, a bit. There's her horse that she got for Christmas and painted. I already showed you her name. All right, that looks good, Anna Claire. Yep, now let's go to the boys' room. All right, boys' room. I say an A plus on, on cleaning the room. I'll give it an A minus. <laughs> All right, let's go see the boys' room. Woo no, 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 please, no. And don't worry, we don't have any. All right, so this is the boys' room. We have two sets of triple bunks in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. and three dressers, so it's tight. <laughs> Each of these bedrooms is the same size, although laid out differently. Oh. Um, and we actually chose to put the boys' Ow. room in here because there were more boys, and even though it's the same size, the layout with having the attic door behind the other door works uh, a lot better for bed placement. So you can see there, attic door here hallway door there works out much better for them so they have two dressers that they share obviously not cleaned off yet hi mom dominic has the top of this one triple bunk. okay so on this bunk we have isaac and this the younger boys because their um their bunks are a little shorter in length, we gave them all standard twin size mattresses, and at the end, they each have a place where they have a, a little bit of storage. Here, you can add, you can see it right here. 
Yeah, you can see this is Damien's bed. So he's got a box built in here where he just keeps various things, including <laughs> including church shoes. I mean, as long as he's not losing them. Yeah, I agree. Um, and in here also they have um, they also have towel bars all hanging up on the beds as a place to hang their towels and some of them have curtains but again we haven't finished that so Damien has his Clemson curtains hanging up um, Isaac still has to have his curtains done and well, they are done they just have to be hung up right. right yeah that's what I mean and then Nicholas has the bottom so he had his curtains were hung up but I see curtain wire laying here on the floor so Another we gotta be accident. Yeah, well, that's not necessarily an accident. That's called kids not taking care of things. Yeah. So, oh. um, that's what happens. Kids don't take care of things. Uh, just like the girls' room, there's a closet on this side, and then a window, and then a closet on that side. And they're deep closets where they can also put more storage, but can't see real well in here. This one has very little in it. And they have a bookshelf. No, no, no. Excuse me, Mom. We this triple bunk here was designed um, for the bigger boys, so that we bought extra long mattresses for those three beds, and they each have um, were designed to have a storage box at the end too. So there is one there and one over there. They each have a place too where they can sit up. That was purposely done so that these bunk beds are staggered so that Nathaniel could sit up here and Ryan has this large spot to sit up here. They're it's here. Very oh, tall. Okay. okay, I'm coming. So today's the big day for the delivery of our new milk cow, Claudette. She's just arrived, everybody's excited. And I gotta get outside. Wait, is it a girl? Yes. Milk cows are girls. I didn't know it was a milk girl. Charlie! Charlie! Hey! Charlie! Eltria! Hello! Oh, you've got the welcoming committee. Where's Dad? Hello, hello! Sorry about the welcoming committee. Yeah, it's all right. Gentle. We like our animals. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is the animal welcoming committee. I hate putting her in here right now since it's so wet. Oh, really? Yeah, it's always the ratchet straps up now. When we first got our other milk cow, we put her in a stall to separate her from the baby that night. Right. Oh, boy, she jumped out of it. <laughs> and I, could, I was in shock. A lot more agile than you think. Yes, they, they are. are. You ready, Miss Claudette? Hey, Claudette. It. There she goes. Hey girl. Checking out the new spot. Actually nursing. I saw. Hey, Claudette. I'd really rather them just stalk each other for a couple minutes before they just died. To... Well, I was getting some pictures of them smelling each other. Oh, I, 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 I put it down. Cause you didn't want it. Why are you trying to bite me? They want 
grass. She has big eyes. Yeah, she does. She's pretty. She's small. Checking out all the goats. Hey. We spooked her. She is so curious about her new surroundings. The other cows are pretty curious too. Hey Claudette. As you can see, we are not the picture perfect farm. Empty out a bale of alfalfa and leave the plastic on the ground. <laughs>